Our offering uh, this morning is for denominational ministry shares. Uh, for those of you who don't know, denominational ministry shares is a big pool of money that we pour into all of us as individual churches. Uh, and then those monies are used to fund various ministries and projects throughout the world. Uh, everything from uh, sometimes development work to missionary work to our uh, colleges and seminaries that we have to uh, denominational offices and ministries there. Uh, so uh, it is a great, a very efficient and wonderful way to spread the kingdom of God. The offering uh, plate for those of you who may be visiting, not singling you out. <laughs> um, the offering plate is out. You don't have to give by the way. No question. Wow, that was shame on me. Yeah, I know, it's true. I've got it out of now. Okay, so. so I told her you wouldn't do this. <laughs> you did. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was foolish. <laughs> I didn't guarantee that I would do this. <laughs> I'm not a good father. You should know that by now. There's only one who is good. <laughs> okay, so this is Isaac. Isaac, wait. That's Kieran's boy. <laughs> and this is uh, Isaac's parents, uh, Joe and. <laughs> so, anyway, sorry for sorry for singling you out. You can maybe beat me up later or something, I don't know. But anyways, um, the collection plate is out in the hallway if you feel led to give after the service. Uh, now, for congregational prayer, just to update you on a couple things. Uh, first of all, uh, Edith is back home. Um, she is somewhat improved from how she was when she was in the hospital. However, she does still have uh, a long road to hope. So, so please uh, be continuing to pray for her. Um, and uh, other than that, I have no particular updates that I need to give you. So let's come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for drawing us together this morning again. Father, we pray that you will guide us uh, as we come to your scriptures again in just a few moments with the message that you have for us. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be pleasing in your sight. We pray that you will guide each and every one of us to hear through the Spirit's leading what you would have us hear so that we may go out with changed lives and so that we may uh, be truly your witnesses here in Athens and wherever we may go. Father, we thank you so much for our denomination. We know that our denomination, like every other, is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But it is wonderful, O oh God, that even in spite of our imperfection, you work through us, just as you do with so many other churches and denominations. Father, we pray that you would bless denominational ministry shares and our tithes and offerings today, that they would be a pleasing aroma to you, but also that they would, uh, they would go to the spread of your kingdom in this world. That justice may be done, that the gospel may be spread, that people may live lives as you intended to the fullest. Father, we pray. We pray that you will continue to be particularly with Andy and Edith. We thank you that Edith is home. We pray also that you will be particularly with Mark and Henny in uh, Henny's health struggles as they are ongoing. Father, we pray that you will continue to be with those in our congregation who mourn Lord, we thank you so much for uh, the many strong friends and families that we have to support one another. Lord, that is more difficult during this time uh, in some ways, but we are grateful uh, for that opportunity, whatever form it comes in. Father, we pray too that you will be with us as a congregation and many other congregations as uh, we, uh, we have chosen not to be together. 
uh, for Good Friday and Easter and the Sunday after that, Lord, our hearts are uh, grieving uh, about that in some way. But at the same time, we know that our elders, our deacons, our uh, executive are very much doing the absolute best that they can to honor you and to love our neighbors uh, as much as we can uh, in this time. And so, Lord, we pray a blessing upon them as the burden of their office is sometimes difficult. Father, we pray, too, that you will um, be with our students, O oh God, especially our college and university students as they are coming to the ends of their semesters. They are uh, getting, uh, they are already deep into papers and, and soon preparing for exams. O oh God, we pray that you will guide them and keep them. We thank you so much for their opportunity to uh, use the gifts that you have given them to glorify you through their studies and, uh, and that they can dedicate their lives to your service in so many different areas of life. Father, we pray as well that you will be with those who are working amongst us, those who have jobs, those who are looking for jobs, those who have uh, planting season coming up, those who have uh, busy times coming up, and those who have slow times. Father, we pray that you will allow each of us in our own way to glorify you in our work. And Lord, for those of us uh, who are retired or whatever uh, that may cause us not to work uh, in the way that we used to, we thank you for the many, many opportunities to volunteer and to work in, in our daily lives, even if it's not uh, paid employment or whatever. Father, we thank you that your calling extends to all areas of our lives. Father, guide us again, we pray, throughout this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.